My name's Yorick, and I've been the sneaking suspicion that the Jester Prince was annihilated. In a similar fashion, I was almost. But let's find out. Hopefully Chunk survived. Oh, man! Oh, don't tell me they did it. Well, there is a lot of blood. I don't see any fat bodies yet, though. Man, that's a lot of blood. Who are these guys? I'll just let myself up. To the penthouse. Ah! Before I talk to anyone else, let's see. You what can Becca always did. count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. What's this about the Black Hand? I will talk to the Jester now. How's things? <laughs> With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. There are black hand prints all over. The Sabbat. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabbat animals. Did you spit on them from the roof? Is that why they attacked? Why else? The motive of every kindred in the entire city these last few nights. The Ankaran sarcophagus. They've been misled into thinking the sarcophagus holds a sleeping ancient. Their most coveted feasts. Diablerists. Hmm. Diablery. This world is mysterious to me. I don't think anyone's mentioned that till now. The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of diablery, that is, drinking the blood of other kindred, especially older ones, until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. In the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. Hmm. I am the prince. My words are, Sheriff, exterminate all Sabbat. Post haste. He has to remain here in case of further attack, and also to guard the sarcophagus. For this emergency, I need someone with your nerve to guarantee success. The Sabbat have been a threat to both of us for far too long. I want a bounty greener than the leafiest of salads. A mercenary attitude won't get you far in this organization. But, if that's what it takes in this situation, agreed. From what hole do the Sabbats link from? The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel. Right under our noses, here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? You're a sarcophagus, huh? Hmm. He really, really wants that key, though. I only answer questions for prizes. Take your money. Tell me. What have you learned? 
The vanishing crate from the Dane. Inside is the key to that old box. A key? Where? Do you have it? No, but I killed the Pope. Bach was the Pope, right? <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you, and to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. I'm just lucky it wasn't Belmont. If hunters need the their blood. They should keep it away from me. Sabat too. The Sabat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. Right, sir. Ooh. We spent our experience. It looks like I spent on the last point of wits. Oh, hacking eight with Asplex level ten. Perfect hacking. My, 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 yes. I wonder if I'll be able to max out those last two disciplines. Hey, what's up? You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reason. Skip. This all makes too much sense. I don't understand. The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna. Which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. You are not one of the noisy children of the Camarilla? What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. Mm. I digested Johansson's brain. What did Johansson have to say? Messerak, a Syrian overlord, is within. I think he might be dead. A Syrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Messerak, I'll have to research that name, see what I can find. And Lama Stu. The recipe is on the box. Lama Stu? She was a Lilith figure. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. The question is, how does the box open? The answer is a key. What do I win? The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed. I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. I have given you the guts. Can you find the heart? It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on Meserach and the Lamas II myth. I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. As uh, I got an experience point for something. This old dusty book may help. Excellent. The White Tower is still standing, but the Sabbat are not. Why try? It's simple. Someone's misled them into believing there's an antediluvian in this very room. They, and I suspect most kindred in this city, would love to sink their stakes or teeth into its imagined occupant. If indeed rocketing it to the moon was out of the question. 
Mm -hmm. I will ponder this as I devastate my enemy's ranks. Well, perhaps for this pack, it's for the best. Maybe we could ask him some questions, Excellent. though. Excellent. Nope. <laughs> However, we're not going to go straight there. We are in dire need of blood. I should probably get some ammunition for some of those guns. Especially the Remington. Yes, Freckles, I see you there. Sadly, we have no catnip. What was the quest? You have rescued Ash from the Hunters. Again. Let me see. Talk to the goddess, check the computer, buy ammo. I think I'll buy ammo first. And I still need to find a pretty tasty morsel. Oh, teleporting redhead. That Larry. How's the movie coming along? My man! What is up? My cot is empty. Shit, now you got a flamethrower too. Is everyone getting flamethrowers? Is Oprah been by? You get a flamethrower. And you get a flamethrower. And you get a flame. Everybody gets a flamethrower! That should be enough. No need to go crazy, crazy with it. I'm so glad I didn't have to buy that gun. Yeah, plenty of those. Desert Eagle. Some more of that. More booms for the Magnum. Thank you, Fat Larry. And now we're off on our next whirlwind adventure. Oh. That was easier than I thought. I'm getting ballsy with these uh, these nabs. Middle of the street, corner of the sidewalk. Freckles, stop tickling me with your tail. You ever have a cat that just sits on the chair, like, right at neck level, and just constantly batters you with her tail? That's Freckles. And now she's sitting on the top of my head. Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Gracias, goddess. Your blessing is always appreciated. Miss. Oh, uh, that's not an Elysium. That is a... You know, it's too light in there. I, there's no way in hell I'd be able to get away with it. And I don't think the Meat Priestess would appreciate me even snacking on her visitors. Why you didn't scream already is beyond me. I'll never get over just how vicious the, that feeding looks. Like, I swear, it's not just like a bite. I am ripping out their goddamn jugular. mention on the uh, on the news that like, the body of Dr. Hansen was found or not 
mean, that was a pretty big explosion. And it was like a chain of explosions, too. Just constant. Hey! TV man? Heard anything? Uh... What's it like in there? Kind of musky. So what's news? Did you hear the one about the tuna and the chef? I love that story. A tuna walks into a sushi restaurant, says to the chef, Hey, you killed my father. Chef says to the tuna, That's my business, fish. Tuna thinks about it, says, Then I challenge you to a game of chess. If I win, you stop being a chef forever. And if I win, asks the chef, You can feed me to your customers, Tuna replies. So the chef and Tuna play chess. Tuna's love to play chess, so in a few moves, the chef was checkmated. Well, looks like I win, says the tuna. Chef nods and plunges his knife into the fish's belly. But I won, says the tuna, as he feels the knife wiggling into his guts. So did your father, says the chef. <laughs> Change the channel. Sorry, this is the only channel you get. Who are you? <laughs> Good night, and have a pleasant evening. You too. I don't know if I want to turn it back on now. Yes, voice, you're getting rather insistent. Maybe, maybe some nice radio. Still awake? Something on your mind? Give me a call. 323 KL. Hey, all you night owls. Is the human race going crazy or is it just me? Seems oh like no, all you hear I'm crazy too. Lately. I Anybody just talked to the, the whole television. Yeah. The white bishop failed. Falls. If that doesn't work, you can all go back to calling in with the usual purpose. Grunfeld Bach. Line five. He was the white bishop. Yeah. So see. Tell me, is society going to hell or not? I think so, Deb. And why is he that? He wasn't the pope. Well, he was a bishop. One, I lost my job a month ago, and our management gave themselves a bonus for it. I'm sorry to hear it. And just the other night, I happened to look out my window here in Santa Monica, which well, used to be a nice neighborhood. I saw the local diner where I've been eating my breakfast for years get shot to pieces. Can you believe that? Damn. Like, no one cares about anyone anymore. I hear it. And Should I go check out the diner? She, she's been using speed since he's in junior high. Steals from his parents. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah, you know, there was a time when this sort of thing just didn't happen. You know why? Why is that? Well, because a man could beat a woman and children when they got out of line. They didn't even have to be blood. You could just slap the little bastard. <laughs> ah, the good Damn. old days. Why don't you hit the activity room and reminisce some more, Grandpa? Anyone have any musings that don't end up in assault charges? Yeah, hi. Whoa, here's a rare event, a female perspective that isn't my own. Go ahead, sister. Um, hmm. I just wanted to say that I agree with you for the most part. The, uh, really subtitles is not matching the radio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, I can't see myself bringing a child into this world, you know? I hear you. You know, it's probably a good thing I let Feather, oh, Feather, Heather go. It's about this point in the game that she disappears and is horribly murdered. But thanks to me, I didn't even take any of her money. She kept it all, she stayed in college, she had a little bit of fun, and now she's still alive. I think I'll turn, I'll just, yeah, I'm not, yeah. Moment. Anyways. Let's take a little uh little trip around town. Catch up with the Wizard King. Stop by the last round. Yeah. Usual check and stuff. We might find someone or something out there that needs a little bit of help. <laughs> And certainly not a baby crying. That's not going to help anybody. Especially if it's like a vampiric baby. Oh god, how annoying would that be? Like, to be embraced as an infant. Can't see, can't see. Where have my eyes gone? Like, a truly messed up vampire brain would have to do, would be the kind of thing that does that, right?
I know in the uh, interview with the vampire. Was it Claudia, maybe? Yes, this is totally not uh, suspicious of paying a pain of mind. I in the hat, the cat with white coat, slinks away. And just because you're here, I'm still thirsty. Well, Deb. Oh, come on, that bum didn't have a security camera or anything. Oh, well. Someone, no one's gonna believe that guy, anyways. It's a raving moon. Here's your guy, he's drink of blood, he just tore right into the dude's neck. He doesn't even have an injury. But, is that a whiskey bottle in your hands? But, yeah, whatever. Hello, neonate. How can I be of assistance? I don't know yet. Of course. What is it you would like to know? No, no. Of One course. more thing. I'm not here. You got nothing. Go back to your wizarding, wizard king. Let's stop by the last round for uh, a little bit of check-in. Maybe Nines is there. And we could do with another copyright infringement. Cuz fuck it. The generative torture is rock anyways. Weren't you the guy that just went screaming down the road? See, he forgot about it already. I'm not gonna worry. It's a single masquerade violation. That was the first one I got the entire game. And watch, there's not gonna be any more quests to make up for uh, violations. Maybe Jack will have something to say about the good doctor. Helter. What the hell do you want? It's a skedaddle. It just keeps getting more interesting, doesn't it, kiddo? The Giovanni, the Kuei Jin, lots of blood being spilled for a 10,000 year old conversation piece, wouldn't you say? Don't you know it? Gehanna, hand of the Dark Father, the lid opens. A dark secret I see. Man, you guys give me the heebie jeebies. Sounds like you know a lot more about something than you're supposed to. Lucky for you, you probably don't understand what you're saying. If you did, I'd be talking to a pile of ash right now. Hmm. Just perhaps. How did your ears catch news of the terrible talisman? The streets, the hillsides, there's eyes and ears everywhere. The jester has his prize. I heard LaCroix's been talking to Beckett too. Beckett's a skeptic about all this stuff. I just hope he knows to be careful dealing with that snake LaCroix. He and the Jester sent me to find the sarcophag sarcophagus scientist. You do what you have to do. I already did it. I don't wish to help him open the Pandaren box. Kid, if you don't do it, somebody else will. Yes. A dark hand reaches for the lid and reaches out from it. You're in a good position to make a difference, Mr. Big Shot. A lot of kindreds wondering just which way you'll go. Man, I'm on your green matter. And... well... The Saban are worthless, man. Skip. A Samit? Moving right along. I don't think he's going to say too much different. Oh, my favorite topic.
I'm not saying let's go towards the Malkavian living under the abandoned hotel because she happens to be a Camarilla. Please don't. I'm saying let's change that shit from the top down. Am I a part of this prickly problem? Hey man, you do what you gotta do to survive when you're young. But there comes a time when that excuse don't fly no more. When you should know better and want to do something about it. Being dead is no excuse for walking around with your eyes closed. <laughs> I get the feeling Jack knows a bit more about that box than he's letting on. Yeah? Damsel, if you had anything new to say. We are about passion, Penny, and freedom. Things most Camarilla types just can't understand. I could go on and on, but Skelter says it takes too long to get me off my soapbox. Ask him. Or even Jack. Can please continue rambling at my expense. I mean, geez, it just makes sense. Power should be redistributed amongst all of us, not just the few. Communism would actually work for Kindred, where it fails with humans. It's just common sense, you know? Yeah. I wonder something else. My curiosity wanes. And we played, and we were there just long enough for the song to play exactly one time before it loops in on itself. I'm kind of curious now about Santa Monica. I'm going to do that real quick. Before I end the video, I want to go to Santa Monica and I want to see the diner. I want to see why I got all shot up. Miss that place. I got a lot of fond memories of bilking the cashier for extra money because she thought I was the health department. Yeah. Oh, those rat toads in the corner of the room. Oh, fine, here's 20 bucks. Could you at least be obvious next time? Now, how is Kane going to drive this cab out of here when he's surrounded by rubble on all sides? And on that note, how did he get here in the first place? You think the cop cruisers would have stopped him? Hop in. Sure. Oh, man, I can't go back to the hunters. I can go everywhere else except there. Hmm. It's a, it's a nice night out, huh? I don't know. Let's find out. It's okay. I'm here to save the day. Just please don't have the television on. Looks fine. What'll it be? My kind is unserviceable. Goodbye. Huh. Well, I have no idea why the diner might have gotten all shot up. It doesn't even appear like it has been. Someone's spinning fantasies. Well, whatever. When we return, we will... What was it? Yeah. We'll go to the Hollow Brook Hotel in downtown to deal with the Sabat once and for all. Did you know your sword is in Hollowbrook? You look bored. Oh well. Until then. Farewell, vampire.